canned sardines. Uh, some people love them, other people can't stand to be around them. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a recipe using canned sardines that's got so many amazing flavors to it that whether you love sardines or not, I promise, it's gonna make you a believer. We're talking Spanish canned sardines in a delicious tomato sauce. Now the beauty of this dish, besides the fact that it's so easy to make, is that it comes together in about 20 minutes, it's very heart healthy, and that you can serve it either as a tapas appetizer or even as a main course. Now the secret to this recipe, make sure you use some high quality canned sardines in olive oil as it makes all the difference in this dish. You'll find a link where you can get some in the description box below. All right, let's start by making the tomato sauce. I'm gonna roughly chop one medium sized onion. And as you know, when I'm working with onions, I like to remove between one to two of the outer layers as it makes it so much easier to chop the onion and it gives it a better overall texture. Then we'll grab five cloves of garlic. Remove the skins. You just give each clove a quick twist and the skin is easily removed. And roughly chop the garlic. And for the final ingredient, we'll roughly chop five tomatoes that have already been washed and patted dry. You can substitute this for one cup of canned tomato sauce, which is about 270 grams. All right, let's start cooking our dish. I'm gonna grab a large fry pan, heat it with a medium heat, and add in three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 45 milliliters. After a couple minutes, I'm gonna add in the chopped onion and garlic. And we'll mix it around. That way the garlic and onion are coated in that olive oil. And since we cut the veggies into larger chunks, you don't have to mix this continuously, but do get in there every minute or so. That way everything evenly sautés. After about four to five minutes, and the onion is nice and translucent, I'm gonna add in half a teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is about one and a quarter grams. And we'll give it a quick mix, that way the paprika is evenly coating the garlic and onion. As always, the Spanish paprika I'm using is from Kiva. You'll find a link where you can get some in the description box below. And if you buy it from that link, you'll also get 25% off your order. Then we'll add in the chopped tomatoes and we'll season everything with sea salt, freshly cracked black pepper, and a kiss of white sugar to cut the acid from the tomatoes. And we'll give it a mix, that way everything's well mixed together and continue to cook this for another four to five minutes or until those tomatoes are lightly sauteed. After about five minutes and the tomatoes are lightly sauteed, I'm gonna turn off the heat in the pan and let the mixture sit here at room temperature that we can slightly cool off. In the meantime, let's start getting our sardines ready. I'm gonna crack open two cans of sardines in olive oil. And we'll drain the olive oil from the canned sardines into a fine sieve with a bowl underneath. For this recipe, we're not gonna be using the olive oil from the canned sardines, but by all means don't toss it. You can use it as a salad dressing or even to make some delicious scrambled eggs. And we'll gently remove the sardines from the cans and transfer them into a dish. Okay, let's move back to our tomato mixture. Once it's slightly cooled off, I'm gonna transfer everything into a food processor. And we'll run the food processor between 30 seconds to 60 seconds, or until we end up with a beautiful smooth texture. Then we'll add in some of the tomato sauce over a serving dish. Add the sardines over the tomato sauce, making sure to give them a gentle flip, that way they're fully coated in the sauce. And we'll sprinkle it with some finely chopped fresh parsley. Check it out, our Spanish canned sardines with a delicious tomato sauce is done. Super easy to make, beautiful presentation, and all done in about 20 minutes. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. Seriously, look how beautiful this dish turned out. Now it's time for the moment of truth. Let's see how it tastes. Here we go.
The first things first is the texture and flavor on those sardines. They are so meaty. So important to use the good stuff here. And that homemade tomato sauce kind of rounds out the sardines and takes things to the next level. You know, you serve this dish next to a crunchy baguette to mop up all that goodness in an ice cold beer, you're gonna have yourself an instant trip to the Spanish Mediterranean coast. Real quick before I go, uh, shout out to a couple of my patrons, Tommy Williams, Clarence Bolin, Martin Giddings, Aravinda Garimeya, and Robert Manhan. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Leave me a comment below. And as always, don't forget to share this video with your family and friends that we are Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.